Doc Rivers, does he come back next year if they do get eliminated in another game seven? Uh, what do you think happens with Doc Rivers in his future? I just it, it's tough. I think I like I know I know the Mike D'Antoni rumors are swirling and it makes a ton of sense, especially when you consider the fact that he's got history with both Jane and Daryl from the Houston Rocket days. It makes a ton of sense. But D'Antoni's another one. What does D'Antoni want in his career? Right. What has D'Antoni Harden and Maury won in their career? It's like you know, as a as a trio. I understand right. they were one win away from the finals in 2018. I get it. And and who knows like what happens with that team if Chris Paul doesn't get hurt. Who knows? Um, but point is they didn't win. So Doc, and this and this is what I was trying to do allude to earlier. Doc has gotten so much flack this year, and I'm not sure why. Especially when you consider the Ben Simmons thing was toxic, dude. That mm. that was a toxic, toxic situation. And they were the number three seed going into the all-star break because mostly Joel was superhuman, but Doc did a hell of a job gathering that team together and be like, yo, listen, forget the noise. Ben's not here. We're gonna, we're not, we're not even gonna address Ben. We are going to play basketball. We're gonna play our style. We're gonna do this, this, and this, and we are going to continue to win basketball games, which is what they did. Had some clunkers in there, but for the most part, Mark, they were a pretty damn good team going into the all-star break. Then you make the big trade, and that Harden addition, you're adding a future Hall of Famer. A top 75 player that sends shockwaves throughout the rest of the roster. Um, they had to make adjustments on the fly. Uh, they ended up being 51 and 31. Then they go up 3 0 uh, against the Raptors. Joel suffers the thumb issue. Um, they, end, they end up losing two in a row before winning game six. And then you go up against the number one seed in the East with that, with your with your best player ex- extremely hurt with a face with a broken face. Um, and I, and again, I, I don't know why the Heat kept get keep getting disrespected. It's it's weird, but the Heat are the number one seed, and you, like it, there's no shame in losing to the number one seed when your when your best player is like maybe seventy percent of what he actually is. Right. So I I, I would give Doc another year. That's just me. Um, but I, it also wouldn't be shocking because of Dan Tony's connections with Maury and James. But if you're, if you're asking me, Kai Carlin, if I was to be GM, I'm giving Doc another year. Okay. All right. There you go. Congratulations. I've just appointed you GM. Uh, <laughs> assistant, assistant to the regional GM. That's what we'll say. Like we'll, we'll say like that. There you go. Uh-